Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. In today's video, I am doing a twin flame reading for the Twin Flame Collective. For those of you who are new, be sure to keep in mind that I do channel these readings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as live premiere videos at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're able to, I would highly recommend stopping by and tuning in on one of those times and days. And I say this because during the live premieres, we have a live chat feature open where we're really able to connect as a community of Twin Flames worldwide. So thank you to all of you who have been participating in the live chat. I have to get the card that just fell out here. Healer of the Ages is the first card that really wanted to make its way out and we'll get into this in a second. I'm gonna pull a few more cards here. But as I'm shuffling, if you would like me to channel specific messages for you, your person, and your situation, then be sure to like this video and also double check that you are subscribed. Because by liking and subscribing, I am able to pick up more easily on your energy. So healer of the ages and woman holding a coin in the upright position came out here. And then walking away, in the reverse position. By the way, throughout this reading, I will be channeling many different hyper-specific messages for different people and individuals, as well as collective messages. I'm getting kind of a ringing sensation in my left ear, so let me know if that resonates with anyone. I know that many of us experience ear ringing whenever we're receiving some kind of intuitive download from our higher self, from the universe, when something is shifting around us in a powerful way. If it resonates with people listening, in the future I might make a video, a podcast on ear ringing and how this kind of tinnitus or ear ringing sensation connects with the twin flame path, twin flame connection. So let's just review the spread of cards that just came out here because I feel like there is kind of a complete starting message in these cards. Healer of the ages, uprights, and woman holding a coin in the upright position. And I instantly heard healing the karmic situation. Now, of course, this is most likely a continuation on the theme of messages that has been channeled recently through these readings. This theme of clearing out karmic energies that for many of us have surfaced in a dramatic way in our connection, especially over the course of the last several months or the last few years. But with these two cards together, I'm strongly picking up on a masculine energy here in these messages who is healing some kind of karmic situation. I do feel that for some masculines, this will involve some kind of a third party or a female feminine energy. By the way, when I talk about masculine and feminine through these readings, of course, as those of you know who tune in regularly, I'm referring to an energy dynamic and actually a balance of energies that we each have within us. So know that these are just labels for energy and not labels for specific genders here. But with that being said, I feel like this masculine wants to say here that he's still in the process of healing some kind of karmic situation. Again, I feel for many this could involve some kind of a third party. I just keep seeing a woman or like a feminine energy in my mind, but that won't necessarily resonate with everyone's situation. With walking away in the reverse position, I got two messages from this card. One, I feel that either in this situation, whatever this was with this karmic, potentially a third party, a feminine energy possibly involved, or just for this masculine, 
This karmic cycle or pattern of over-focusing on the material or prioritizing something about the material, his material success, his, I heard established. So this masculine could have been established in something in the material world that the divine feminine perceived to be creating this kind of block or interference in their connection. This could be anything. This could be a pre-existing job, a pre-existing behavior pattern, addiction, potentially even a family structure this masculine was in. He could have been in some kind of a marriage or something prior to meeting the divine feminine. But again, this won't connect with everyone in this way. So only take these messages always how they resonate with you. And if they do, there will be a message here. I'm sure if you were drawn to this video, there will be some message for you somewhere in the reading. But again, I do channel many different messages. But for this specific situation, I feel with this walking away card reversed that either A, this masculine would not leave this person or situation and this caused the divine feminine to feel very frustrated. I hear her saying it's happening all over again. Why won't you just walk away? Why won't you just release or let go of this thing that is so obviously causing this block or interference between us? And I hear him on the other side of this saying, I just can't, which I know is not a good explanation here, but I do want to read a little more specifically into why this masculine felt as though or feels as though he couldn't yet leave this karmic situation or release this block. Why did this masculine feel like he couldn't release this block? Man holding a coin in the upright position. There's something about this coin here. I hear a masculine almost saying, I feel as though I'm getting too much out of this situation. It's almost like, let me know if this resonates, but I almost feel as though with this card, man holding a coin and then woman holding a coin, it's like that karmic situation, even if it was a person, even if it was a marriage or a relationship or a third party represented to me, there's like this mirroring here, right? With man holding a coin and woman holding a coin, both representing this fixation on the physical, on the material in this context. I feel this masculine saying, I didn't leave or I didn't walk away or I couldn't let it go because I was still prioritizing the physical over the spiritual, the material over the soul. And I feel this masculine saying, it's almost like he's walking in this metaphor with a blindfold on where he thinks he is prioritizing what's important because it's what's important by society's standards or by other people's standards or expectations. There could be something highly visible about this karmic situation. So it could be, again, another person he had been with for a long time. There's something established about it, like a job, a pattern he'd been in for a long time, a cycle he'd been in. I'm hearing inner child wounds could have played in for some masculines here as well. But there's something about this masculine prioritizing the physical over the spiritual through this person or situation which is playing into why he wouldn't leave. There's like a dominance, a very strong presence of ego here that is blocking out the knowing of the soul or has in the past. Again, I'm feeling this could be a past or present situation. Getting back to this walking away card. By the way, in the extended, I will channel more specific messages on why potentially this masculine couldn't let go of this block, this person, this pattern, this situation, whatever this karmic thing was, why he wasn't able to or felt that he wasn't able to release it in the past. I will be channeling more on that in the extended, which is linked in the pinned comment and description box, but I really want to keep up with the fluidity of these messages. So for the sake of this reading, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. With the walking away reverse though, getting back to this card, I feel as though, again, there could be two things coming out here for different people. One is, I feel that either potentially, again, this masculine would not, I hear stubborn, someone here could have been very stubborn, would not walk away from this person or situation. The word spell also came out from the love word scramble, which is where I channel specific words that connect with the reading. So this masculine either literally could have been under some kind of spell by this person, meaning that this person just 
had some kind of a powerful spiritual hold over them, even though the connection was, I just get the word artificial, like material, like it wouldn't on the soul level, there was nothing there. There's no depth with this person. Again, I'm not saying that this necessarily, this karmic has to be a person. I'm just feeling for so many, it was either a person, a relationship, a third party situation. And I feel this masculine saying, she had me under her spell, but there was no depth there. It's like, there's this very strong pull, but it's artificial. And I actually spoke on this dynamic, this magnetism that begins to be created in these karmic connections and why that happens and how to unravel all of that. So if you want more information on that, I'll leave a link to a much more in-depth podcast on karmic energies and twin flame connection because that might be helpful to you. But for the sake of time in this reading, we'll just say that there was something about this karmic situation, again, most likely with some kind of person that felt like it had some kind of a hold almost on a spiritual level, except there was no soul connection. There was no depth here. I also feel for some reason, I'm feeling for some, this third party or a person could have for a few of you literally participated unconsciously or consciously in trying to artificially create or manifest this connection with the divine masculine in some sense some could call this like practicing magic or placing a spell on him but i know that won't resonate with most of you this manifestation could also be very unconscious it could be that the karmic themselves this third party person or relationship really try to hold on to the masculine, to cling to this connection. And this could have caused a lot of feelings of pull between them and a lot of confusion for both the divine masculine and for the feminine who is outside looking in on this situation. The second thing I hear from this walking away reverse, the second potential here, and perhaps for some, it will actually be both coming out here that I'm channeling. But the second potentially would be that this situation caused the divine feminine to decide to walk away in some sense, to create some kind of distance in the physical between herself and the masculine. So again, it could be that either the masculine would not walk away from this karmic situation or and or that the feminine walked away because of this. Deceit in the reverse. This card came out in the last reading. I can't remember if it was in the first reading or the extended, but the minute I pulled this card, I heard instantaneously, the truth is coming out. The truth is revealing itself because I feel that what we've channeled so far in this reading, for some could still be a present dynamic or situation, but for many, this is going to be actually channeling a bit of a, a past energy here. So I do want to catch us up to speed to the present because although for many I feel this could still be seeming to play out in the physical, the residual karmic pattern or situation, the thing is guys, on the energetic level, this is shifting in a really powerful way. The truth is being revealed. The truth is coming out here. So what truth is coming out here? Caring connections in the upright position clarity in regards to i'm hearing just this very simple sentence of who really cares about me not just on this superficial material artificial level but who is truly showing up for me and supporting me now this could apply to twin flame connection of course specifically but this could also apply more broadly to any form of relationship because again twin flame connection is intricately connected with our internal energetic experience the experience of our inner masculine and inner feminine but what i'm hearing here in the context of the literal physically manifested twin flame connection is that someone here is getting clarity on who is really showing up for them who has really been there for them who they have true depth with in love and romance not this kind of artificial connection or relationship so what is going on here with this caring connections card who is realizing where there's depth community in reverse 
Someone who's been either withdrawing themselves, feeling very alone, I heard intentionally isolating. So there could be someone here who is almost intentionally pulling away from other people or situations in the physical in order to get back in touch with themselves. This actually could go for both physical counterparts here. I heard who through isolation, I'm realizing true connection. I almost feel as though someone who is either emotionally or literally withdrawing from other people or situations is doing this in order to find deeper levels of clarity within themselves as to what connections are truly worth per pursuing, which connections are really showing up for them in a real way in their life and they are being drawn to these higher vibrational forms of love connection, magician and the mirror in the reverse position. I'm picking up on something really interesting. There's this mirror dynamic that's playing out very differently for both the divine feminine and divine masculine because magician in the mirror, this is one of the two very strong twin flame cards in this deck. I say that it speaks to the balance in twin flame connection. So the fact it's reversed tells me that there's some balance or perceived imbalance between some twin flames that I'm picking up on here. But what I'm getting in this context is, so this mirror dynamic I'm talking about, I feel that with these three cards, deceit reverse, the truth coming out, caring connections, getting clarity on who is truly showing up for them romantically, community reverse, this feeling of isolation, withdrawing to find clarity on these love connections and situations. I'm feeling that for the divine feminine, this could actually be manifesting as her withdrawing even from the physical divine masculine, going within, realizing what she really deserves even within her manifested twin flame connection, raising the bar, raising the standard in this connection, realizing that she may have actually accepted less than she deserved, even from her divine masculine, and then giving herself permission to fully surrender, meaning to let go of all attachments to outcomes, to all physical expectations for this connection and saying, you know what? I want to be with this Karen Connections card. I want to be supported. I want something real. I want something materially material. I want someone to show up for me in real ways, in the ways that I deserve. However, as I said, this is mirrored. So the masculine is going through this as well, but I actually feel this is what is really eliminating any manifested karmic energies in the form of third parties or other people or other options romantically if these were at play in the past for him because he in turn is raising the bar, raising the standard, spending a lot of time alone, either feeling alone even when he's around other people or like the divine feminine physically, literally being alone a lot with this community card reversed. The truth is coming out for him as well. And he is also receiving clarity on who was truly showing up for him, truly caring for him, who he sh truly shares this depth with. However, in the case of the masculine, I feel as though he's realizing it was the divine feminine who was always showing up for him, supporting him, the person who he shared this kind of depth of connection with. So there's kind of this irony here, as there often is between twin flames, where they are reflecting, they are mirroring the same energy, finding clarity through isolation in regards to love and relationship. However, for the feminine, in the physical at times, this may feel to her as though she's pulling away in the 3D from the masculine because she's raising the bar, she's raising the standard for herself in love and relationship and realizing that the masculine from his wounding may have not been showing up for her in the physical in the past in the way she deserves. But again, there's that continuing theme we've been channeling over and over in these readings, which is the feminine without realizing it perhaps consciously is raising the bar for the masculine in this way, which is actually resulting in him feeling this newfound clarity and commitment to the divine feminine, realizing this is the connection that he's always felt most supported and seen by, that this connection is unique, that this is where he's always felt and only felt true love frequency, true love connection. 
we did talk about twin flame surrender that's going to be such a powerful continuation a continuing theme moving into 2022 so if you are a member on my subliminals website soundandsoulful.com as i know many of you are i really recommend utilizing my twin flame surrender subliminal This subliminal is designed to really shift you from that chaos consciousness, that state of anxiety, confusion that creates this kind of interference between yourself and your twin, both energetically and then of course manifested physically. It really shifts you from that into that really powerful, really magnetic state of surrender. It contains unconscious affirmations, which are so powerful. Subliminal affirmations are particularly powerful because they bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deep lasting impressions on the subconscious, which is directly tied to the energy field. So for those of you who aren't yet members, I will show you on the screen here how to navigate around my website to explore the different subliminal I have created and have available. When you create a seven day free trial account, you can try out my Twin Flame Surrender Subliminal as well as any of the more than 100 I've created on this website completely free for seven days. I really recommend just trying it out for a week and meditating daily with this subliminal and just watching how your inner world begins to transform as you shift again from that chaos consciousness to that surrender state and just see what begins to show up within you and within your life and your connection. So again, the link to this Twin Flame Surrender Subliminal is also in the pinned comment and description box under this video. And I will also be leaving links there to any other subliminals that come up during this reading that I will recommend specifically to members there. But moving on with the reading, we have six chakra in the reverse position. This speaks to the third eye, to intuition, to some kind of intuitive block. And this card landed right by the magician and the mirror card in the reverse, speaking to imbalance within twin flame connection. And all of this together leads me to believe that there is someone here who is having difficulty fully accessing their intuition, which could be leading to or contributing to this manifested imbalance within this twin flame connection. The words Asia and dear came out from the love word scramble. So someone could have some kind of a connection to Asia here. Also a deer could be spiritually significant to someone or a kind of symbol that someone sees in their daily life. I'm going to reshuffle the cards here and get some deeper clarity on what this six chakra reversed, this potential intuitive block is that's coming up here. So I'm going to reshuffle the cards and clear out the previous energies. So what is this intuitive block coming up here? I wanted to say for the masculine, so I feel that the masculine could definitely be experiencing this more strongly in the connection walking away in the reverse position i heard agony of walking walking away or pain of walking away interesting how is the pain of walking away coming up here so i'm actually also picking up on a divine feminine potentially saying walking away from you divine masculine feels so painful but At the same time, it felt like what I had to do or it feels like what I have to do, but I'm in some kind of internal conflict about this. This could be even an intuitive block coming up in this way for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, Angel of Strength in the reverse position. I hear Divine Feminine saying, I had to walk away because I felt disempowered. I'm also seeing the solar plexus chakra come up here, which is the seat, of course, of our self-confidence, of our inner power. I feel this Divine Feminine. There's something here about vulnerability, about disempowerment. I feel almost as though this Divine Feminine is, I heard, imbalanced, like things didn't feel balanced between us divine masculine meaning i felt like i was giving so much more than i was receiving in the physical 
I feel this divine feminine kind of speaking back to if she did walk away or separate or if she's been thinking about doing that, then this is why it's because the way this connection has played out in the physical has caused her some feelings of disempowerment of I heard vulnerable but left hanging it's almost like because of course there's natural vulnerability between twin flames but it's almost as though this divine feminine felt as though she was really putting herself out there in some way really opening herself making herself vulnerable and then being left hanging being like I heard walking away empty-handed is how this divine feminine felt so there's a lot of pain emotionally surrounding this feeling of being disempowered wanting or needing to walk away for her highest good but also of course feeling this depth of connection so this could be causing at times the divine feminine and this of course has been another recurring theme but this could be at times causing this intuitive block for this divine feminine just making it difficult i'm hearing her say it's just really difficult to sort through sometimes all of this i see someone like in this kind of metaphor it's like they're trying to sort through a bunch of papers um, for some kind of project this could be literally something someone's done at work but also a metaphor of trying to sift through all of these past interactions and communications and memories there's a lot about memories coming up here with the masculine and it's like i don't know where to put any of this so part of me just wants to file it away in a cabinet because i don't know what to do with this i don't know what to do with all of these memories with these feelings with this depth of connection connected with this feeling of being left hanging of being so vulnerable and walking away empty-handed Again, this won't necessarily resonate for everyone. I just keep seeing the solar plexus energy center coming up for this person as well. So if you are a member on my subliminal sites, I would recommend incorporating my solar plexus chakra activation into your daily meditation routine because the binaural beats here in this particular subliminal will assist you in energetically retuning the solar plexus center, allowing you to shift into more core confidence within yourself to stabilize yourself during this time of potentially feeling as though you've been disempowered by some kind of person or situation. I just heard take back your power, divine feminine. That could be a message from someone's spirit guide or someone's higher self. But the link to that solar plexus chakra activation is in the pinned comment and description box as well. So now we've spoken to the divine feminine struggling to access her intuition in some way or feeling a bit cloudy. I heard a bit hazy at times, foggy at times in the third eye chakra. I'm going to now shift over to the masculine and I want to know how this block is affecting the masculine because of course there is this mirroring taking place always between twins. So what is the intuitive block coming up for the Divine Masculine? Wow, solar plexus in the reverse position. That's so funny. I should have guessed that if we were talking about the solar plexus chakra for the Divine Feminine naturally because of this mirroring effect, of course, this solar plexus block was going to come up as well for the masculine. It's really interesting how the sixth chakra, the third eye here, and the solar plexus keep coming up together. It's like the third eye, of course, represents our intuition and then the solar plexus represents our inner confidence. So combining these two energy centers and the blocks manifesting in both, it's almost as though there's something about both being unable to access one's own intuition and also feeling low levels of self-confidence about this, not really sure how to move forward. I heard with the attachment card reverse coming out here, when or how to let go knowing when or how to let go i feel like that could be a theme coming up surfacing right now for both the feminine and masculine and in potentially different ways in the physical but the energy is the same so i will also leave a link by the way to my third eye chakra activation as well if you do feel guided to use one or the other the solar plexus or third eye or to use them in connection with one another so again that link will be under the video 
But with attachment in the reverse, it's almost as though I see this divine masculine, I heard, struggling to let something go. It's interesting. Once again, we see this mirroring between the Twin Flame Collective over and over again through these readings. And in this case, I feel the masculine, just like the feminine I feel at times, is struggling to hear her intuition on, do I stay, do I go in regards to the masculine, or how do I proceed with this connection in the physical? I feel the masculine is struggling with his own feelings of when or how to let go, but I feel as though this is actually him choosing or deciding how or when to let go of these negative attachments with the attachment card in the reverse. So what are these negative attachments coming up for the masculine? The name David came out here. Also the word sport. I heard that either someone may be really into sports, could be an athlete, or even heard sport medicine. Also the word supply, and I heard that someone could be in marketing or something as their job. What are these negative attachments coming up for someone here? Wedding in the reverse position. I don't normally take reverse cards in this deck, in the Romance Angels deck. This situation involves marriage, so for someone here listening, this won't be for everyone. But for someone, this masculine could be or could have been in the past involved in some kind of, I'm hearing divorce. So there could be some kind of divorce process he was involved in in the past or even a present day marriage with some kind of a karmic situation involved as well. For others, this could be some kind of fear of commitment coming up for this masculine. So there could be a masculine here who wanted a deeper level commitment with the divine feminine in the physical, but I'm just hearing afraid, felt fears coming up, attraction. You enjoy, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel this masculine grappling or struggling here with the difference between the feelings of pull, the feelings of soul deep, all encompassing intense attraction he feels to the divine feminine coming up against this heaviness, this energy of these attachments, negative attachments that are still holding him down, holding him back in some way. Again, potentially this could involve some kind of a long-term relationship for this masculine, a marriage, a relationship, or of course, as I said earlier, a fear of that, a fear of long-term committed relationship or moving this connection forward. But again, it's like all of his fears, all of his attachments are coming up against all of his love, all of this attraction, attraction in the most soul deep sense that he feels toward the feminine. But I heard doesn't know how to act upon at this time. So I'm going to reshuffle the cards here and see if we can ask the divine feminine or divine masculine rather why he doesn't know how to act upon these feelings of attraction toward the divine feminine what's in the way of him acting on these feelings of attraction anxiety of course fear the number 18 like 1 8 came out here so there could be 18 18 showing up for someone as a recording number or as a as an angel number the country name america came out also political interesting so someone could be into politics or political issues here there's been a lot of different kinds of regions and country names here so i feel that some twin flames listening could have a geographical distance could be from different countries or even different continents entirely i see some twin flames who could be separated by an ocean First chakra in the upright position, building foundation, security. Okay, so I heard a masculine say, I feel safe where I am, which is why I feel anxiety about letting go of negative attachments, moving forward in this connection, potentially in this connection with you, Divine Feminine. These, I heard commitment phobia, so this could have been an issue that actually surfaced in the past within your 3D connection, there could have been this recurring, I'm hearing it's a recurring theme for some of the masculine getting cold feet or being afraid of deeper level commitments. Yeah, the thinking man reversed. 
there's something here about this masculine having felt before. I'm hearing, I'm hearing prioritizing safety and security over soul expansion. So for this masculine, there could have been this energy of, I felt safe where I was, or I felt really the word familiar is coming out here. What I had in my life, these negative attachments felt familiar and safe to me because I'd been connected with them for so long. And expansion, the expansion that you divine feminine inevitably brought into my realm of existence, into my life, felt very unfamiliar, very terrifying. With a woman holding a heart reversed, it's like the idea of giving my heart away so fully, being so vulnerable with you, Divine Feminine, felt insecure to me. It felt unsafe. And again, with this first chakra card, it's like I was prioritizing safety. I was prioritizing the material, the stable, the secure over this expansion that my soul was desiring and that I knew I could find with you, Divine Feminine. And this brought up a lot of feelings of tension within me the tension that comes from this deep desire of my soul to expand through this connection, to move forward, coming up against my desire for security and safety, which this expansion didn't provide. I didn't feel safe because it felt so unfamiliar to feel. There's something about it feeling so unfamiliar to be so free, so free of what? I feel almost free of... I heard absence of ego, free of, free of these connections or attachments that actually could have been holding me back. Again, there's this ironic situation where this masculine felt safe in what was actually destructive to him in some sense. I'm going to reshuffle a lot of the cards here because those are some really intense messages coming through here, and I want to get us greater clarity. So. The word cow came out here, so masculine might live on a farm. Okay, so once again, first chakra in the upright position, security, safety, trust, familiarity. How was this masculine prioritizing safety, familiarity, or the material over expansion or over this connection? Financial constraints in the upright position. So something very material, even monetary, could have been at play here for this masculine. A career, a job, a financial situation. He could have been afraid that by moving forward with the Divine Feminine, this could put his finances in flux, or if not financially related, I heard divorce causing financial issues. So this is so specific, but there could be a masculine who was in a marriage that he knew was this kind of negative attachments, but he was staying together with this person for financial or material reasons because it just seemed to make sense. It felt familiar. It financially made sense, but it wasn't what his soul really desired. Again, this is just one potential manifestation. This idea of prioritizing the material over the physical could manifest in many different ways. So take it as it resonates with all tied up, reversed, opening up, especially in regards to communication. I heard I can't stop talking to you or I can't stop wanting this connection and there's almost a feeling of guilt here i feel this masculine almost i heard trying to go back at times there could have been times he tried to double back on this twin flame connection and return to this constraining life or patterns this for many divine feminines this could apply to your internal masculine as well so as the divine feminine it is sometimes helpful to take these masculine messages and apply them to our inner masculine and ask ourselves, in this case, how in the past we, or even in the present, may feel tempted to prioritize the material over the spiritual, let our fears keep us stuck in negative attachments because they feel familiar to us, rather than choosing expansion bravely, fearlessly. But there's some energy here for some masculine, almost of guilt of, 
I know I shouldn't keep connecting with you, communicating with you, talking to you, divine feminine, or I shouldn't buy my ego's perspective because it doesn't always make sense in the physical world or because of how other people are perceiving me or this situation or this connection. But it's like this energy of I can't stop because we never started talking. We simply began to consciously connect. I feel as though it's like when I say we never started talking, I mean, it's like we've been in this eternal soul conversation with one another our entire lifetime. And in fact, the entire existence of our soul. So when I started connecting with you consciously divine feminine, it was like just beginning to consciously connect with that part of me that had always been in this communication with you that had always been aware of you. And yet with personal healing and happiness in the reverse, at the same time, it's like, I see this masculine feeling like there's so much in the way that he's working on healing with healer of the ages in the upright position. I feel him saying to the divine feminine, almost on this higher self level, I feel like there's so much in my personal life. There's so much coming up for me energetically, emotionally, personally right now that needs to be healed. So in spite of the fact that I'm feeling all of this powerful, intense attraction pull at times, I know that divine feminine in the physical that might manifest really in a confusing way, even in a contradictory way, because it's like having this awareness of both the depth, the magnetism of this twin flame connection while simultaneously having an awareness of everything coming up to the surface that now needs to be addressed and healed and transmuted. So in the extended reading, I will be channeling more details on what is specifically coming up in the personal life or in the emotions of this masculine for healing that he perceives to be something that needs to heal or shift within him or his life before he can fully act on those feelings of magnetism and pull between himself and the feminine. So again, the link to those more in-depth messages will be in the pinned comment and description box. But for now, for the sake of time, I do want to move forward to 3D and 5D messages. I know many of you enjoy these portions of the reading where we channel both from the 3D level, from both perspectives, the feminine and the masculine, as well as the higher self level. So what does the divine masculine think or feel right now consciously in the physical world? What is happening overall with the masculine and the physical? Attachments in the reverse. What a beautiful card because this card came out earlier and I said that it spoke to a masculine who was still potentially negatively attached to things in his life that felt familiar but that were in some sense destructive to him, not fully allowing him to connect with his true authentic self. And therefore, I don't want to say destructive to the connection because it can't be destroyed, but causing some kind of 3D interference within the connection, we'll say that. Door to healing and happiness in the reverse. Once again, this card coming out again as a sign of confirmation, dealing with personal issues, feelings of unhappiness with himself or his life that must be healed or shifted before he can fully move forward. And again, we'll be channeling the specifics on that and the extended. I'm getting all the same cards. I feel that spirit is saying here, We've already spoken to these 3D messages because all tied up in the reverse also came out here, opening up greater communication, wanting, I heard wanting to talk. What is this masculine wanting to talk about to the divine feminine? The thinking man reverse. I want to show you how I've been releasing my ego and also remind you to be patient. It's funny. I feel this masculine himself almost I don't want to say panicking, but struggling with his own feelings of time limitation. We talk very often of the divine feminine dealing with time limitation. 
worried about the timing of the connection when or how things are going to come together, which is why also we talk so much about the essential nature of of surrender, how essential surrender is for this connection. But in this case, I feel this masculine saying, almost having his own feeling of anxiety in the physical over, I don't want to lose you, divine feminine. I don't want to be too late. I don't want to be too late to this connection. I almost feel as though if you've heard from your masculine recently, or if he does reach out within the next week or few days or so from when you watch this reading, I feel that the reason, especially if you've been in some kind of separation or you don't communicate all the time, I feel like there's something about a masculine communicating because he doesn't want the divine feminine to forget about him or to forget his presence. So of course he might not literally say, oh, be patient. I'm releasing my ego because this is more unconscious here. But what he might do is reach out. He might like a post on social media. He might it's like give you some kind of sign of communication or indication of wanting to communicate something that will be visible to you that will simply remind you of his presence and i feel that on a soul level again if this does happen or has happened recently this is the masculine saying to you yes i'm still here don't forget about me because I'm afraid of being too late to this connection, being too late on my healing for this connection, if that makes sense. Again, this is all coming from a very human 3D perspective, and we will channel higher self messages soon. Yeah, with the fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries, I feel that all of this is going to be reaching some kind of, I don't want to say a breaking point, but some kind of a culmination point where something breaks over within the energy field of this masculine. So if there's been a period of low contact or low communication between you and your person in the physical, I strongly feel that that's going to be shifting for you. And if you haven't heard from your masculine in a while, don't be surprised if they reach out fairly soon because I am getting this energy of like something is going to break over within them in regards to their healing where it's like, I so strongly want to connect. I'm feeling this pull so strong and I've been healing so much and shifting so much within that I really want to reach out and talk. I really want to have some kind of a 3D conversation with you, Divine Feminine. So now what is happening with the Divine Feminine in the 3D What is going on in the 3D with the Divine Feminine? Journey. Interesting. I hear Divine Feminine saying, sometimes I just want to run away from everything and everyone. There could be a Divine Feminine who feels as though she wants to, I hear, go to a new place where no one knows me and start all over. She could randomly get the urge to move physical locations, to travel, to go on a trip. She may even be planning trips or daydreaming about traveling or going to some new location. This won't apply to all divine feminines, but the feeling is here at times I feel as though this even could be her feeling at times like she just wants to run away from what she's feeling for the masculine or from this connection at times because it feels too confusing. It feels like it's gotten too heavy. However, what I feel spirit coming in here to say is you, if you're feeling this desire to run away, what you're really feeling is the desire to fully reconnect with yourself, to not take necessarily, although of course you may take some kind of an external journey journey, or I keep wanting to say pilgrimage for some reason, some kind of an external journey if you feel guided to do so. Always listen to your intuition on that. But I'm also hearing that even if you are taking this external journey, the real point of the journey is for you to take a journey within yourself. It's like what you're truly desiring is some kind of an internal journey. 
and with adjacent possibilities here to explore new possibilities for yourself and your life. For some reason, I heard new projects. So someone could be starting a new project here or a business endeavor, changing careers. I heard trying new things. So there's an energy here of open-mindedness, remaining open-minded and open to new possibilities in life for some divine feminines. Of course, this could be new possibilities in love as well, allowing themselves to remain open to potentials here. Yeah, there's this energy of a divine feminine just really wanting to, again, take some kind of a journey, whether that's making a change, taking an external journey, but also desiring to remain open, to keep herself open to possibilities in life. And I feel this is a really beautiful thing because this is her actually opening herself to the naturally spontaneous spirit of her powerful inner divine feminine. This is actually really healing for her. So pay attention to divine feminines, whatever you feel really guided to do as far as travel, trips, journeys, literally, or a journey that is more mental or emotional in nature, meaning potentially taking a new course, trying a new thing, doing something different. Even I'm hearing taking a different route, whether that's literally taking some kind of a scenic route while you're driving or just allowing yourself to be more free spirited in your life, even in small ways. I'm hearing this is a really powerful way that you're actually healing your own divine feminine energy which for those divine feminines who are really connecting with these messages of opening up their inner feminine energy, I will leave a link to the Awakened Divine Feminine. This is a powerful subliminal for really assisting you as the divine feminine on your journey of healing and opening and powerfully shifting into your divine feminine power, into the divine feminine in her most magnetic, effortlessly magnetic state of being, which of course will result in a powerful shift in that yin yang with the yin yang card actually coming out here as well. This is like the number one twin flame card in this deck. But with this subliminal meditation, this will assist you in kind of holding that powerful new frequency of the fully awakened, fully embodied magnetic divine feminine, which of course will result in shifts in your connection, but also will result in increased magnetism for your desires in all areas of life. So the link to the awakened divine feminine subliminal will of course be under this video as well. With Angel of Strength and Healer of the Ages reversed here. For some reason, I'm hearing finding strength through vulnerability because you'll remember that at the beginning of this reading, the Angel of Strength reverse card came out here. And we said that there was a divine feminine who felt as though she had left herself really vulnerable with the masculine but then felt empty-handed, felt as though she wasn't supported in that vulnerability. That's the key word. Well, I'm hearing spirits say here, Divine Feminine, you are learning to support yourself in your vulnerability. Meaning, of course, as we've been saying through recent readings, to balance that inner masculine and feminine, to, yes, remain vulnerable, meaning to remain open, open-minded, open-hearted, to open yourself, your heart, your gifts to the world, but also to support yourself in that vulnerability. And in fact, when you were seeking support in your vulnerability from the external masculine, in some sense, you were betraying your inner self who needed that internal support. You were in some cases, potentially for some people, unconsciously trying to receive this support and validation for your vulnerable spirit, for your open-hearted spirit from your external masculine because you hadn't yet gone through the process you are now going through of learning to fully support yourself from the inside out to support yourself within. So this is a really, really powerful transformation taking place very consciously because these are 3D messages for the Divine Feminine Collective. 
So I am going to reshuffle the cards and close this reading as we usually do with the higher self 5D messages. So we're now going to channel some higher self messages from the Divine Feminine first and then from the Divine Masculine. But first, the name Dan did come out in the Love Word Scramble, if that connects with someone specifically. So what does the Divine Feminine want to say on a higher self level? What does her higher self want to say here? I'm getting some tingling and a little bit of pressure at the top of my head. So this can indicate something happening in the crown chakra center. So let me know if as the Divine Feminine you've experienced any kind of crown chakra sensations or anything along those lines. This can indicate that you're really connecting in, tuning in with your higher self or whatever divine forces you connect with. So what are those divine forces? trying to tell this divine feminine baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense there's something here about i'm picking up on a divine feminine who is extremely passionate highly creative very spiritually connected and yet when it comes to something right now in her life, this could be related to Twin Flame Connection specifically, but I'm actually feeling for most it isn't related directly to her Twin Flame, but related to career, to finances, to business, or to personal life. I'm hearing there's something in your life that you desire. It's a pure soul desire. Spirit is saying it's an aligned desire. The universe is aligning to bring you this desire because it's coming from the soul. However, there is this need to continue taking, as this card says, those baby steps toward that goal without having a plan that is really emphasized here because strategy reversed also came out here, indicating that I'm hearing you're not going to be given the entire map. You're going to be given the next step, Divine Feminine. So there's something about having the courage to take that next step and that next step following, of course, your intuition rather than needing the whole plan. With man holding a heart in the reverse position, there's something here about, <laughs> about not being distracted by what is going on in the external with the masculine, which I know sounds like kind of a confusing message, but I feel this divine feminine's higher self saying, I know there is a lot going on in the physical, either within your own thoughts, within your mind, or within your connection. You know, as we spoke to earlier, the masculine could have reached out recently. There could be increased communication at times, and then at other times, less communication. I hear this divine feminine's higher self saying, these are all indications of his own healing process, which is not linear because healing never is. And for this masculine, if you fixate too much on the external masculine and what is happening within this connection in the physical, in a sense, I hear this Divine Feminine's higher self bluntly saying it's missing the point because the purpose of this is actually to shift the focus from what is happening externally within this connection back within your beautiful self, Divine Feminine. Continue taking, I mean, it's just such a clear, strong, and yet simple message here. Continue taking those small steps every day, following your intuition, without knowing or having a plan, without allowing yourself to become too caught up or distracted in the physically manifested details of either this thing, this project you're working on, or this connection. And with caring connections in the upright position, I hear, always allow yourself to rise to your highest vibrational form of connection, highest vibrational form of love connection, of course, is very much on our minds through this reading. But I hear your guides here, Divine Feminine, saying, 
Allow yourself to have what you deserve. Give yourself permission in all areas of life to rise into the highest vibrational version of those things because you are deserving of a love, a connection that sees you, that supports you in real material ways. Don't become too distracted or hung up in the details of what happens with your divine masculine within this twin flame connection in the physical. Keep that spirit of open-mindedness, open-heartedness, and again, just continue to allow yourself to rise into whatever highest vibrational forms of connection, including love connection, show up and feel right to you. And again, you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to have the full plan in your love life or in your work or career or wherever this is coming up for you. So in the extended version of this reading, I will be channeling messages from this divine feminine's higher self directly in regards to this twin flame connection and relationship to the divine masculine, because I know that these messages were mainly her higher self speaking to her physical 3D self, but I do hope that these messages reached whoever needed to hear them within the divine feminine collective. So finally, we're going to channel some messages from the higher self of the Divine Masculine. The word doubt came out in the love word scramble. What is this Divine Masculine doubting or feeling doubtful about? What does this Divine Masculine want to say on a higher self level? Okay, so man holding a coin in the upright position. I actually hear this masculine's higher self saying, Divine Feminine, I know that at times you are doubting whether I am fully rising into my power, whether I am fully shifting into this awakened, healed, divine masculine state of being, whether I'm even shifting along with you, which at times could even make you question this twin flame connection altogether because you may find yourself asking, if this person isn't visibly shifting or changing along with me, then what if they're not my twin flame? What if they're not my mere soul who is supposed to reflect all of these changes I'm making within myself? But this masculine's higher self is coming in to say this message of confirmation to speaking to the doubts some divine feminines are feeling in the 3D. And he's saying, yes, I am rising into my power. I am shifting However, once again, I'm hearing that message of the healing process is not linear. And that is why Divine Feminine at times, especially being the counterpart that chose this more dense, more physically oriented paradigm as the Divine Masculine chooses in this life, it can take longer for those steady, consistent, visible changes to show up in the physical, which can lead to these feelings of doubt, which is also why it's very essential why I feel this divine feminine's higher self earlier was saying, don't focus too much on the details. Allow yourself to rise into your highest vibrational form of love connection, divine feminine, and your true divine masculine will always meet you there. But ironically, becoming too hung up in the details of the manifested interactions, communication, and connection in the physical can actually block us from rising to our highest vibrational form of connection out of fear of that not being our twin flame. And then we actually block the very thing that we desire. I know that's kind of a complex message, but I hope that came through to someone here. The name Martin came out in the love word scramble. Also the words earth and finish. So... How is this divine masculine shifting or rising in his power? What does he want the divine feminine to know about this? action in the reverse position okay so as i suspected this is at the moment more so internal than action oriented so it might not be highly visible yet journey just like you divine feminine may feel called to make some kind of journey either physically literally or within yourself or to try new things i am taking a journey as well not one of action with action in the reverse but one of the mind of the soul 
And what is this journey that the masculine is taking? Man holding a heart reversed, learning to let go in matters related to love, learning to open my heart. There's something here about this masculine learning how to let go in love of control, meaning control of outcomes, control of when and how things happen, control of knowing exactly how things are going to turn out, loving with abandon. This is what this masculine is learning, learning how to love with abandon. And this reading is getting kind of long, so I am going to be wrapping it up here on YouTube. But if you would like to hear more extended channeled messages from the higher self of this masculine to the divine feminine, you can head over to our Patreon extended reading, which I will be channeling after this reading. So the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box under this video if you feel guided to it. But for now, I am going to be pulling one final Rumi Oracle card to close out this reading. So what is one final message for Twin Flames tuning into this reading today? What is one final message for Twins? Blessing of Zara. And I'm going to close this reading by channeling a few messages from the Rumi Oracle Guidebook. Let go of thoughts. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek release from suffering and pain. While thought is the cause of your suffering and pain, the realm of creation is outside the scope of thoughts. O foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. Rumi. Love will feed your hungry soul. Nothing less shall suffice. No sweet-talking charmer hell-bent on seducing and moving on will make the grade. No, it has to be nothing less than genuine romancing by the great beloved to feed comfort and nurse you into radiance. Only that divine finger dipped in the heavenly honey can be taken in by your soul now. All else will seem as empty as junk by comparison. But can we summon the strength to overcome habitual and mindless attempts at feeding on lesser substances? This oracle comes with special guidance for you. You are being given a blessing of Zara, of radiance, of brightness. This blessing has a purpose. It is to clear out that which would obstruct your full unfoldment to support the divine jewel of your soul in shining. That feels like a beautiful place to close this reading. I will be leaving links to all of the subliminals I recommended during this reading. For those of you who are members on my subliminals website, soundandsoulful.com. So the links to all of those are in the pinned comment and description box. These are truly powerful tools for assisting you in energy clearing and shifting your vibration around both your life personally and your twin flame connection. So be sure to explore those if you do feel guided to them. Of course, I will also be leaving a link to the extended messages for this reading available through our Patreon community. So the link to the extended reading where we will be going more in depth with many things that came up during the reading and also, of course, more in depth love related messages from both the masculine and the feminine to one another. That information is also linked below. 
So I hope you have a truly wonderful, beautiful rest of your week and weekend, and I will talk to you again in Monday's Twin Flame reading.